The last thing I want to show you is the F squared or effect size. That is, what is the size of the effect that one variable has on another? Now, you can actually calculate this automatically in PLS or in the process macro, which is emulated here in Smart PLS. But in CBSEM, currently, there is no way to do this. So you have to do it iteratively and manually. I have a tool for this. In the Stats Tools package, if you go to Effect Size, there is R square included and excluded, and the F square and the interpretation. So what we can do is go do this manually. The way you estimate an effect size is by running the model with and without that line predicting from one variable to another. And then check the R square of the predicted variable with and without that line. So let's see what the effect of ease of use is on skill acquisition. Calculate this. Just run the regular algorithm. It's 0.135 as the R square over here. So that is the included 0.135. And then let's remove this path, delete, and run it again. Good thing it runs fast. And now it's 0.105. So we go back and say 0.105. And it says the effect, the F squared, is 0 0.0347, which is more than 0 0.02. So it is a small effect. Let's do this again, but for a different path. So let's reconnect those. We can see that the path from efficacy to ease of use is fairly strong. Let's calculate this one more time. Start 0.829 here, 0 0.608 is the R square. Let's go ahead and get rid of that after putting it in here. So included is 0 0.608. And then excluded, let's go back and select delete. Oops, not that, this, and run it again. And it's 0.213. Ooh, we should see a real effect here. 0.213. We have a very large effect of 1 plus an asymptote of decimal. So, large effect. Now, the F square is very important when you are looking at a model with a lot of data. The more data, the less error, and so the smaller the p-values, meaning they're all significant. So even if there's just like a small effect, it'll still come off as significant, even if it's a very small effect. So it's good to look at the f-square to demonstrate how large the effect actually is and not just rely on a p-value less than 0.05. I would like to show you briefly how to check this in process. Let me reconnect this. And save and convert to process and we'll call this effect size check. Here it is converted to process and you can just calculate path analysis, unstandardized uh, data, mean replacements fine. Here we go, start. And the F square is automatically calculated for you. And we can see that the effect from efficacy on ease of use is very large. We see that the effects in green are moderate and the effects in black are small, and the effects in red are nothing. They do not have a substantial effect. So even if there is a p-value less than 0.05, we're not convinced there's actually an effect going on. Let's take a look at that briefly. Let's see, uh, we have from playfulness to skill acquisition, if we were to go look at the path coefficient list, we actually need to get the p-values, so let's bootstrap this. And it was playfulness to skill acquisition, I believe. Go look at the path coefficients. Here it is, playfulness to skill acquisition. And it says, yeah, sure enough, there's not even a significant effect. Well, that is how you look at effect size in Smart PLS.